And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the New York Mets. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, it's time for our player spotlight singing. Jeff McNeil is a player to watch for this team this year. He sure is, Boog. And even though he's already looking like a key contributor, he's still a young player. But most people around this organization think he's going to keep getting better and better. And, I and now it's Christian Walker. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Fires it to the plate, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. One left for Arizona, half inning complete. We've got no score. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. The second baseman. Kelly back to work. Now you got it. No one better. Let's go, kid. Two outs. And base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Swing and a miss. And that is that. We played two. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And Boog, I'd say he's due. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. He's over one. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Bounce to the right side. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks two. Back here in Queens. And the batter now, Jeff McNeil. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The wind of the pitch. Misses inside, ball one. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch, can't catch up. Righty delivers. Ripped to the right center. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. James McCann up now for the Mets. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. They all pitch. This one in the air center field. Varsho sizing this one up drops for a hit he couldn't run it down in quickly to short but now runners at the corners to start the inning Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets and a pitch popped up Perdomo makes the grab, and there's one down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Oh, one down. Kelly. Over to Perdomo. That's one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. Five innings complete. It's the diamond. 
bottom of the seventh. And stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. The second baseman. And he deals. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this club back into this ball game. The tying run at the plate. Swings and he breaks his bat. Throws to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now at the plate, Paven Smith. Right handed reliever on the ground. McNeil gets it to first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. The right hander back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike, and that is strike one. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Next one off the plate inside, and it's two and one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Into center, Varsho under it, squeezes it, and there's two down. Singy looking back on this one. Jeff McNeil had a nice game at the plate for them. Absolutely. And, you know, we talked about earlier how important he is to this club. And it's games just like this one. If he can do it consistently over the long run, I think he can really have a huge impact on this ball club. And I also think we'll see more of the same from him in the future. And I know, I know this. His teammates are hoping for that, too.